We take the security of government devices very seriously. Starting immediately, the UK says it's banning TikTok on government phones. The move announced Thursday adding Britain to a growing list of Western countries, including Canada and the US, that have rolled out similar restrictions over security concerns surrounding the popular Chinese-owned video app. It is both prudent and proportionate to restrict the use of certain apps, particularly when it comes to apps where a large amount of data can be stored and accessed. TikTok, which is owned by Beijing-based company ByteDance, says it's disappointed by Britain's ban. And now an even bigger block could be in the works. The Wall Street Journal, citing unnamed sources, was the first to report the Biden administration is demanding that TikTok's Chinese owners sell their stakes or face a possible U.S. ban of the app. That would be a huge escalation. The app currently has more than 100 million U.S. users. TikTok concerns me for a number of different reasons. The U.S. National Security Agency director sounding the alarm at a congressional hearing about the platform last week. One is the, the data that they have. Secondly is the algorithm and the control. Who has the algorithm? Third is the, the broad platform. Influence operations, as we talked about previously, it's not only the fact that you can influence something, but you can also, you know, turn off the message as well. And testifying before the Senate Intelligence Committee, FBI Director Christopher Wray was asked about China's ability to use the app for its own security aims. Could they use TikTok to control data on millions of users? Yes. Could they use it to control the software on millions of devices given the opportunity to do so? Yes. Could they use it to drive narratives, like to divide Americans against each other? For example, let's say China wants to invade Taiwan to make sure that Americans are seeing videos arguing why Taiwan belongs to China and why the U.S. should not intervene? Yes, and I would make the point on that last one in particular that we're not sure that we would see many of the outward signs of it happening. China's foreign ministry pushing back Thursday, saying the U.S. had yet to prove that TikTok threatens national security, adding Washington should stop suppressing foreign companies. Three years ago, the Trump administration also threatened a ban. A spokesperson for the app says if protecting national security is the objective, Divestment does not solve the problem because it wouldn't change data flows or access. Closer to home, could a wider restriction come to Canada? When the prime minister announced the ban on federal government devices last month, he added, This may be a first step. It may be the only step we need to take. The safety of Canadians, he says, is his priority. Melissa Duggan, City News.